Hello, everyone. Welcome to this CUBE conversation. Today, we're going to be talking about a hot topic, one of my favorites, with Yumi Hong from Broadcom. Yumi, welcome. Thank you for having me today. So tell us about what you do and what we're going to talk about. Yeah, uh, so I am in the product marketing organization within Broadcom, um, and I head up the product marketing teams for our core infrastructure products, including vSphere, vSphere Kubernetes service, private AI, vSAN, data services manager, and VMware Live Recovery. Excellent, so live recovery, we're going to be talking about disaster recovery, about ransomware as well. Uh, clearly you have a very broad portfolio, and maybe some of our viewers um, are asking themselves, okay, VMware Live uh, Recovery, how does that fit in the portfolio? And maybe uh, can you put this in, in, in contrast with where it fits in uh, the, essentially the VMware Cloud Foundation uh, solution? Yeah, absolutely. So when we talk to our customers, cyber resilience is a topic that is top of mind for virtually all of our customers, regardless of their size or the industry that they're in. And so uh, building a cyber resilient private cloud is a top priority for our customers. And that's one of the things that VMware Cloud Foundation aims to deliver. Um, and so as a, as a platform overall, we have a multi-layered approach because any robust ransomware defense plan has to have a multi-layered approach uh, to both prevention and recovery. And so at the infrastructure layer, VMware Cloud Foundation comes hardened out of the box. We have um, features such as identity federation, um, live patching to address vulnerabilities quickly and in a manner that is non-destructive and centralized. Uh, we have data at rest and data in transit encryption, compliance monitoring. So all of these capabilities ensure hardening at the platform level. And then when it comes to preventing the attacks from happening, we have our advanced networking and security products that deliver strong distributed lateral security, advanced threat pre uh, prevention, avoidance of data exfiltration, things that are critical to preventing the ransomware attacks from getting into the environment in the first place, and then to make sure that we're detecting it and containing it as quickly as possible. And then, of course, it's essential to have recovery measures in place, and this is where VMware Live Recovery comes in, and it's a key enabler for the cyber-resilient VCF environment, serving as that critical last line of defense in case an attack does come through, um, because recovering from an attack is actually a very complicated task these days, and so we allow customers to securely and confidently recover from what has now become an existential threat. Absolutely, so you brought up a couple of very important points. Uh, I like the fact that uh, you talked about not just data corruption potentially or data destruction, but also the possibility of data exfiltration. So these are very hot topics. But let's zoom in on, on the uh, live recovery piece of it. That's really the, the fun part here for me. And I like to, uh, to geek out on these type of feature functions. You've already mentioned quite a bit, but I'm curious about uh, you know, what it does exactly in terms of feature functions. I'm an end user, I'm a customer. Uh, you've hinted at a couple of uh, capabilities. Uh, what, how would you uh, define the core features and benefits? And again, maybe compare and contrast with other disaster recovery measures you have uh, in place already. Yeah, absolutely. So VMware Live Recovery is a ransomware and disaster recovery solution. And we've brought together various technologies within the VMware portfolio uh, to help customers securely and quickly recover from these types of threats. And uh, we deliver all of this in a unified management experience so they can um, address ransomware recovery or disaster recovery use cases. They can protect their environments across different clouds, whether that be on-premises or in the public cloud. And uh, we have a unique set of features that help customers uh, recover from ransomware attacks and especially the modern forms of ransomware that are prevalent today. And so we're able to bring up the workloads in an isolated clean room, run those workloads using embedded live behavioral analysis of those workloads, and uh, we automate all of this with an end-to-end -end ransomware recovery workflow. And when it comes to disaster recovery, we have enterprise-scale um, DR orchestration as well. 
We've also drastically simplified the consumption experience for our customers. All of these capabilities are available with a single subscri a subscription, and we've also um, added flexibility within the licensing structure as well, where customers can, for example, start out with an on-premises disaster recovery uh, capability, and then maybe mid-subscription they want to adopt the cloud for uh, cloud-based ransomware recovery or disaster recovery, and we make it seamless for customers to do that with a single subscription. Well, this is really interesting because I think there are a couple of very important points here. The first one uh, I want to bring up is, of course, you know, uh, disaster recovery is one thing, and it used to be predictable in a sense, right? You could see that hurricane coming. Well, when it comes to ransomware, you don't know what, when, and what the consequences will be. So having this clean room environment uh, to be able to practice and more importantly, uh, the ability to have those different workflows, because those are different workflows that's not kid ourselves here. Right. Uh, I think that's absolutely key. Uh, the other point I want to bring up for our viewers is, uh, and, and I'd like to really double click on that, uh, and maybe we'll do that through customer examples, but the truth is uh, the simplification of licensing and the flexibility you offer in how you can then configure or reconfigure uh, the way you're going to come back uh, from what may be a, an existential threat mm -hmm. uh, to your business. I think that's absolutely key and something uh, that, that really uh, I think will shine uh, clearly with, uh, with customers. So talking about customers, uh, obviously you have a couple. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. A couple million. You have a lot of customers. So I'd love for you to give us some examples specifically in this context of disaster recovery and ransomware recovery, what have you seen in the field? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a customer we have is one of the largest retailers in Ukraine, actually, uh, named Fozy. And when the war broke out, they needed a way to uh, transfer all of their data outside of Ukraine and protect them outside of Ukraine um, in case there is a disruption due to wartime or their natural disasters. And this is where we were able to help the customer out with VMware Live Recovery, replicating hundreds of terabytes of data to the cloud um, in a matter of one to two weeks and um, delivering RPOs that are as low as 15 minutes. Well, that's a very impressive, amazing, and unfortunately, um, everybody will know uh, what this is all about. Uh, I think that couldn't be a it couldn't be a better example or worse example, depending on how you look at it. Um, I, look. I think that at the end of the day, it's all about recoverability, uh, which is exactly what uh, you've, uh, you've identified here. Uh, you mentioned RPOs, RTOs, obviously there's, there's plenty here uh, to, to worry about from an economic standpoint, from uh, an SLS standpoint. Um, you've recently added a number of new capabilities. You mentioned some of the workflows, uh, some of the networking capabilities. Can you walk us through some of the uh, you know, uh, recent uh, additions to the portfolio in terms of capabilities, uh, and specifically, uh, you know, focus them again on disaster recovery and uh, the uh, ransomware recovery components. Yeah, absolutely. So one major release that we uh, did was actually around the general availability of VMware Live Recovery in March, uh, where we're unifying the different technologies that we have within our portfolio. And with that, we announced a set of capabilities as well. Uh, one of them is uh, RPO as low as one minute with uh, vSphere replication for on-premises disaster recovery. So significantly reducing um, the RPO. And then also, we also introduced the capability for customers to protect the same workload with on-premises DR and cloud-based ransomware recovery. And so that was another major announcement that we made. And also recently, we added a really cool feature, uh, one that we actually previewed uh, in Barcelona last year called Cyber Secure Storage. And this is where we are leveraging local vSAN snapshots, so snapshots that customers can create in their uh, local vSAN data store. We've integrated VMware Live Recovery um, and uh, the cyber recovery capabilities that come with it. And the benefit of doing this is that we're able to drastically reduce the recovery time because uh, we auto identify the best uh, baseline local snapshot to recover from. So instead of transferring all the data back from the cloud, customers can now use the local snapshots to recover from um, cyber attacks. And so we are able to reduce the recovery time by up to 16x. 
Oh, wow, well, 16x. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. you had me with the RPO, but now you're <laughs> 16x is very good. Uh, what, what I think this brings up is a couple of points. First of all, there is uh, definitely a place for a hybrid strategy here. I think this is very clear to me. Uh, the first line of defense could be on-prem. It's fine. It's three, not a problem. And, of right. course, leverage cloud as much as you can. Uh, those are very, very smart ways of doing it. Uh, Look, uh, we're almost at uh, the time uh, when Explore is going to be upon us, where it's, it's, it's coming soon. Yeah. Uh, I know you have a few things uh, that you're going to be announcing. So can you walk us through uh, what will be announced uh, in the uh, September time, sorry, end of August time frame? It's coming up soon. Yes, yep, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so two key themes when it comes to VMware live recovery announcements. One is we are uh, integrating more tightly with the VCF platform because that helps deliver a unified experience for our customers and it also um, takes advantage of some of the product synergies that exist, uh, case in point, the cyber secure storage uh, feature, right? And so uh, what we're doing is we're going to be extending the local vSAN snapshot capability uh, to deliver uh, remote snapshots with vSAN and so uh, remote uh, vSAN to vSAN snapshot replication. And with that, customers will get a deeper history of immutable snapshots. Uh, they'll be able to leverage a unified appliance to manage uh, those snapshots as well. And we will also support vSAN Max for uh, greater uh, storage efficiency as well as scalability. And this is a natural extension into our second announcement, which is about providing greater choice and flexibility to our customers. Because today, that isolated recovery environment is available on VMware Cloud on AWS. Mm -hmm. um, but um, a number of our customers have asked for their data to stay on premises due to data privacy requirements or data locality requirements. So um, our announcement is really around doing ransom or recovery with an on-premises isolated clean room. Um, and so uh, with that, customers can now flexibly choose between an on-prem IRE or a cloud-based IRE um, and adhere to these um, data sovereignty uh, requirements. Well, quite a bit that you're working on here. Uh, so a couple of things uh, that really get my attention here. Number one is you're definitely deepening uh, and as you're broadening the spectrum of capabilities. So I think that's very key. The other point is I think this uh, idea of compliance meets governance meets obviously recoverability mm -hmm. is key. Uh, so I'm um, very pleased to see that you're adding these capabilities, the on-prem uh, capabilities. Uh, but beyond that, I think it's, it's a broader conversation around how do you maintain uh, recoverability and really the business altogether, uh, regardless of the circumstances that may affect you. So I, I also assume there will be updates to the workflows and, and run books. Uh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, so our vision is to be able to protect any vSphere-based environment and recover that to any vSphere-based environment. So you'll see us add more options uh, for our customers. And there are a number of capabilities that we're working on as well. Um, there's a capability that's in tech preview right now called proactive threat detection, where you know we are leveraging the same concept, but using that to proactively catch the, the uh, malware before the encryption event actually occurs. Oh, that's really great. Uh, and, and I think you know with the other capabilities with a clean room, what you're really doing here is uh, you're, you're sort of going uh, along this framework sort of one by one. Right. More importantly, I think you're setting up your end users for the ability to test, which is maybe a best practice that people are forgetting about. The reality is with uh, these, all of these capabilities, there's really no excuse for not at least trying to test some of the p potential attacks, uh, the consequences and whether the teams are ready uh, because clearly the technology is. Yep. Uh, Yumi, thank you so much for your time. Uh, this has been great. Thank you. Uh, and have a great explore and uh, of course, uh, great launches. Uh, and uh, to our viewers, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this CUBE conversation and we'll see you soon.